Hello there, it's time for me to show you some new dyes from Spellbinders. This one's called Fleur de Lis Accents. And here is the Fleur de Lis motifs. So these actually, you can actually combine these. And if I turn them over, you can see that they're quite big. This one goes here. So it's a big border. And there are some lovely shapes here, and um, as you can see, and let's show you something that I've started working on. Um, this is the shape, cut it cuts really nicely and easily, and I just die cut a circle to put in the center. I have also die cut something else, this shape, and I was just wondering. Yes, it's actually from the other one. This one's called Floral Doily Motifs. And this one comes from this little set here. So these are the three new ones for me. There are more, but I just started with these. I'm not made of money, you know. So I just couldn't resist buying this one. This is one's called Regal Art. It comes from Stampers Anonymous, the same company which makes Tim Holtz's stamps. And if the crown fits, but wear it every day. Wear it, wear it with pride every day, it says, actually. It was the crown that set her apart from the others. Warning. Not even, do not even think of messing with the queen. Just address me as you would any royalty. They are sort of cheeky, I think. And uh, they are quite big of size, I'm thinking. So it's going to be quite fun. And I've actually got myself a glue gun, a second glue gun, because I do have one. Like this one with a cord. It's fine, it works nicely. But I'm thinking when I go to craft events or scrap marathons and, th and things, I'm just thinking it would be nice to have a cordless glue gun. And I just started working or playing with that one. Actually, I do have something else to show you. There are some new tissue tapes from Tim Holtz. This one's called Sketchbook. And as you can see, there are some butterflies and some texts. And this one's called Journeyman. And there's a bicycle there and uh, some torn cinema or theatre tickets and everything. I'm hoping to be able to use these later on. Uh, this cordless glue gun is run by four AA batteries and uh, it should take a couple of minutes for it to heat up and when it's heated up it should come out fairly loosely or how should I say it, it, it comes in quite a runny form in, if I compare it to the other one. And I actually glued this one down with it. So if I just take it away, it didn't stuck that well, I see. Perhaps I let it cool down too much. Can you see what it looks like? It's quite a small, thin layer of glue there. So it's um, fairly easy to work with. It actually sticks pretty well to the paper in comparison to the other one but um, I need to fasten this one here let's see it's actually ready to go now I'm just hoping I'll be able to make it work and hopefully it'll stick there and then I'm going to use this twirl Anya I just die cut her head and I'm going to use it as the center of a flower or so. And then I'm going to use a piece of paper that I have used some distress inks on and some perfect pearls also. You see the, see the shimmer there, don't you? So when it comes to gluing bigger pieces of paper down, I'm actually going to use my trusted tape gun. And I'm thinking of making a sort of different kind of card today. But the problem is that I can't really get this tape to stick to this paper. 
just rolls back into the center so I suppose I could try and paste it down like so and just put it sort of a little bit from the center you see this a piece of paper sticking out there I'm actually going to keep it like that And the glue that's coming out there, it's it's fairly thin as you saw before. It's sort of in a liquid form. And I'm thinking of making a card like that looks like this. So I'm going to use this flower thing here. And just to be sure that um, everything is in place, I'm thinking of using this glue gun. And as you can see, it comes really nicely glue and then I'm just going to place it nicely like so and add some pressure to it and then it's time to use a little bit of corrugated paper just can't help myself now can I so my intention is to Create a, create a sort of layered effect here and then I'm going to end up using this let's see if I can come a little bit closer so I'm hoping this one will stick really nicely and the more pressure I add to this the more glue comes out at once So there's my twirl Anya. And I'm just thinking of completing this one later. But I just wanted to share this cordless glue gun with you. It works like a dream. I'm signing off right now. Bye bye.